I'm making a miniature sink, pipes, and faucets entirely from scratch without using any technology. I shaped some scrap clay into a dome for the inside of the sink. I'm using aluminum foil as a barrier between the two pieces of clay. I trimmed the excess before baking. I'm using liquid clay to bond the unbaked clay with the baked clay. The first piece I baked is the basin of the sink and the second piece will be the top surface of the sink. I used my finger to smooth the transition between the baked basin and the top of the sink. I used more liquid clay to add a strip across the front to even out the edge. Once I baked the entire sink, I sanded it. I'm adding a coat of wood glue to even out the surface and make it seem more like porcelain. After a couple coats of white paint, I'm finishing with some UV resin. You could use a different type of shiny sealer or enamel paint, which is oil-based and really shiny. I'm adding some mass-produced metal faucets, but I replace these later with some handmade versions. This metal grommet makes a perfect drain. I'm using a paper Q-tip to make the pipes. To make the Q-tip bend, I'm using a bit of water to soften the paper. When it dries, it holds its shape. I'm using some strips of paper to add some pipe joints. I was having a hard time trying to glue the Q-tip to the metal grommet. I made a paper sleeve and attached it that way. I want this pipe to look a little bit older, so I used a base coat of black paint. I'm covering the silver paint with a wash of watered down black acrylic paint. I scored these metal beads in the discount bin at Michael's. They look like old-fashioned handles. I'll show you how to make your own using caviar beads. These are metal beads for decorating your fingernails. I'm starting by making the center of the bead. I'm cutting a thin piece of computer paper to be about the same height as the little metal beads I'm using. I'm covering the strip of paper with glue and gluing it to itself into the end of a toothpick. I only wrapped it around itself twice so it isn't too thick. I don't want this to stick to the toothpick. I removed the tiny circle while the glue was still wet and reshaped it. I'm using white glue to pick up the metal beads to add to the center circle. I added some liquid super glue to help the beads stick to the piece of paper. I'm removing it from the toothpick so it doesn't dry there. The super glue makes it as stiff as the metal bead on the right. Now it's time to make the faucet. I need to add this bead to the straight pin, but it's just sliding right down. I'm using a glass seed bead as a stopper. Now the end of this pin is bigger than the center hole in the faucet handle bead. I'm attaching the two pieces together using super glue. I'm using a metal earring back as the base of the faucet handle. I 
love the gap the seed bead makes between the earring back and the handle. You can create a more modern handle and change the look by using different beads. I will put some info in the description about the materials I use in this video. I'm using some cereal box to make a little faucet spout sticking off of each handle just like the inspiration handle and faucets. My first thought was to use metal wire, but the paper is a lot easier to stick to the bead and work with. I attached the paper faucet with super glue and let it dry. Now that it's firmly attached to the earring back, I'm shaping it. I'm locking the shape in place with some more super glue. The faucets look really flat since they're made of paper, so I'm adding some dimension with wood glue. I'm applying the wood glue on the top, bottom, and the sides to completely encase the cereal box. This technique doesn't work well with white glue. When the wood glue dries, it holds all of this dimension instead of deflating. I painted both faucets with some cheap metallic acrylic paint. I trimmed the pins, leaving a little extra at the bottom. This is my first time using my new pin vise drill and I love it. But I do recommend not using your own finger as a backer when you're drilling something. To be safe, you should have someone else hold it. If you can't drill a tiny hole, you can cut the pin so it's flush with the bottom of the earring back and glue it to the surface of the sink. My new faucets look very 1980s brass, so I'm covering them with a brown wash. This is just brown paint and rubbing alcohol. Using rubbing alcohol as the base of the wash instead of water makes it stick much better to metal. You may have seen this technique used by Little Gretchen's Workshop in Tiny Keyhole Minis. The all over brown looked a bit grungy so I dry brushed with more gold. Now the wash is just in all of the deepest recesses. You can install it against a wall either permanently or temporarily using glue or blue tack. 